This video is sponsored by Value Testers for a complete line of specialty work related tools, biggest selection and best pricing. When you need to upgrade your tools, think Value Testers. Create a free login for best pricing. Link in the description below. All right guys, uh, Value Testers sent me this as a, um, a demo. UEI wireless gauges. I have taken them out. I have, you know, gotten them from the box, taken them out, and I have an iPad, an Apple iPad Mini here that I use for my uh, wireless gauges. So I'm gonna kind of go over everything with you and show you what comes in the kit. As you can see, it comes with two two units. I did go ahead and, and, and already, uh, you know, hooked up the app, downloaded the app, and hooked this one to the high side, and hooked this one to the low side. Now, when it did come in this container, one of the units was on, and the batteries had died. So I had a, there's a little screw right here, and there's a little, um, two AA batteries in here. And, um, it's not wireless, because you have to use the, this wire here for the sensors, and it's got a little, little sensor in there, I don't know if you can see it. But I haven't used it yet. I did hook it up to the app, but I am going to start using this out in the field as a demo and try it out. Um, this is, you know, adjustable both ways. It does have a tap on there, so you could, you know, fill it with gas either um, on the low side, you know, to put gas in, or on the high side to take gas out if it's overcharged. And on something like this, see how it's straight? Sometimes you can't hook this up to units, so I'm going to use flexible hoses. I got some flexible hoses. I'll show you what I'm going to use on that. You, they do have uh, 45 shutoffs you could use, but some units you, you can't um, put them on there if it's straight sometimes. So I like to use a little flexible hoses. It works for me. I'll show you what I got. I'm just going to use these little yellow jacket. They're probably like 8 inches long. And I just, you know, screw them right into here. So, you know, you could hook this up, hook this up to your Schrader core on your, on your unit, and then you have the flexible. If you wanted to add gas, you know, you got your tap right there. Um, which is not a problem. You know, if you wanted to add gas, you know, you, you open this up, and uh, you can bleed it right here at the tank, get rid of the air, and then you could put gas right in. Not a problem. Like I said, they're, um, you download these to the app, and then once you plug these other ones in, it automatically connects right here. So we're going to turn this on, and I'm going to turn the app on, we'll show you what it looks like. Alright, that's that one. We'll plug this one in here. You guys can see, hopefully you guys can see. The UEI one. I did download it, UEI Hub. There it is right here. All right, 410A, right? So this blue one right here, evaporation sensor. Now this right here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the line temperature, look how small that thing is. Can you even read that thing? 87 We'll hook it up outside to my unit and we'll run it and we'll see what it looks like. I'm gonna start using this for a, out in the field as a demo. I told the guy I would do it. I do like my spoil and smart tool, but we're gonna check this out and see how it works. So we'll hook this up to my unit outside and we'll run it and we'll see what it's like. Alright, so it's set. We'll put it down now. We'll put it 
put on a six. We'll put it down to sixty nine so it don't shut off, and we could check the unit outside. All right, guys, I'm out here at my rud unit Sunday afternoon. I'm kind of just doing a little demo on this, but I'm gonna try them out in the field. So we got the clamps. This one here was able to go straight. I didn't need the hose. It's good to have them hoses on there, though. Sometimes some units you can't. But. if I needed them. Alright, so our suction is 123. Evaporated temperature. Superheat. Liquid line pressure. Sub cooling. The system's a piston, so it's 410A. Nice little app. I kind of like the app. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it or not. So I'm going to try it out. Now this is um, the Hub 4 which just comes with the um, uh, the liquid line and the suction line and the two um, temperature probes. They do make a kit that has the air probes for the air handler but this isn't that kit. So That's a nice little app. It's easy enough to change if you want to change the refrigerant. You could just click on that and scroll down to what you want. If it was 22, right, my gloves on 410A. My um, kitchen's right upside there. We'll probably go inside and see what we could we could see the app a little better. Uh, so we can see the app pretty good inside here. Suction pressure is 130. Superheat's pretty low, but it's pretty dry in the house here. Now, when you first turn a system on, you know, you're supposed to let it run for like 15 minutes before you check everything. But I know the charge is set on this thing because this is my own house. So it's dry in here. It's dry. Humidity's very low. Let's see what it is. the humidity is low in the house here. Let's see what it is. What bulb? 65. Alright, so what bulb? 64. What bulb? 64. It's probably about 90 out. So our superheat should be around out there in the sun is probably 90, 95 out in the sun. Yeah, it's 90, a little over 92 in the sun. So we'll say 90. Our superheat should be about 9. And we're right there with our superheat. And it's a piston, you know, uh, sub coolant's good. That's a little ton and a half uh, system I got in my house. 410A head pressure. The only thing I don't like is the line temperature. Look how look how small that is. Can you guys even see that? The line temperature? I mean it's tiny. They should really do something about that, uh, the line temperature. It's 53. I mean, but look how tiny. I can barely read that thing. Look at this. Look at this line temperature. I like to be able to see that. I mean, it's... 
that's one thing I don't like about it is the, the line temperature is just too small. Shut them right off. I'm just gonna throw them in my kit for now. I'll show you what. And I'll use them this week. I'm gonna go out doing jobs, try them out, demo. I got my little kit here. I got my all my stuff in. I got the uh, spoiling smart tool in there, and I'll just throw them right in there and use them. I got the small spoiling smart tool in there, the UEI, and. Uh, I manifold. I haven't even used that this year. The I manifold. I probably should, but oh, that's it. A little iPad. Yeah, I'm not gonna leave it inside this. So when I send it, when I send the kit back, I'll put it back in here. But I don't really like. I like to have it in that little bag I got. Yeah, there's a little system in my house. Top of the stairs, I got a little system that goes in the attic and it runs over both ways and blows down that's been in a couple of years it works fine I use the old line set and just put a new unit in maintain 70 you know maintains the house fine 